Good to see you all. Thank you. Love you. Please sit. Sit, I stand for you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. I'm very happy to see you. I'm happy to see you all. So, Mr. President, welcome to the Washington, D.C. VA Medical Center. We're so excited to have you uh, not just visit this medical center, but visit veterans uh, in, in your term and uh, see our vaccination effort. Um, I do want to introduce some members of the team. Uh, Dr. Deepika Duganini uh, is a clinical pharmacist here on our staff, and she has been working about six days a week, sometimes seven days a week, uh, since uh, the middle of December. <laughs> Uh, drawing up vaccine and leading our team that does that. Um, here we have Lieutenant Colonel Sharon Tatiana, a uh, Army, retired Army Nurse Corps officer uh, who is receiving her second dose of Pfizer today. Her vaccinator is Dr. Dr. Nikki Garaya, Hello. our uh, Deputy Chief of Staff, but Nikki has also really headed our testing capability here, running a respiratory evaluation center that allows us to test both veterans and our staff and veterans who are coming here for pre-procedure testing before they have their surgery. He's done a wonderful job. Uh, here receiving his first dose of the new J&J &J vaccine is Staff Sergeant Marvin Cornish, United States Army. Sarge, how are you, pal? I'm well, sir, thanks. And the vaccinator is Denise Bain. Denise is our Associate Director for Patient Care Services, our nurse executive. Uh, but more importantly, in, in this environment, Denise has been the Department of Veterans Affairs representative to Operation Warp Speed since November, um, working to make sure that VAs across the country get the allocation that they need to take care of their veteran population. They're really warping the speed now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. So, and then lastly, Colonel retired Margaret Cope, United States Air Force, is receiving her second dose of the Pfizer vaccine today. Uh, her vaccinator is Dr. Leslie Rowan, who has been our vaccine coordinator here at the Washington DCVA, um, responsible for nearly 28,000 doses of vaccine going into the arms of our staff, our veterans, and 5,000 of our partners at the Department of Homeland Security. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, sir, what we'd like to do now is have Dr. Duganini explain to you how we, we mix up and draw the Pfizer vaccine and, and how long before the guidance came out to give six, get six doses out of a bottle, uh, Deepika and her team were getting six doses out of about 95% right. of the vials. God love it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so basically, uh, the Pfizer vaccine comes in a vial like this. Yes, sir. And then uh, it's a concentrated liquid, and uh, we dilute it with 1.8 ml of sodium chloride. Um, and then uh, we join to syringes like this, 0.3 ml each. And then we uh, we uh, note everything down here, and if anything's missing, like five dose, six dose, we have to uh, report to CDC. Um, so we maintain this log. Um, so let me excuse me one second. Where is uh, Jeff Steins? Oh, I think he snuck in the back. Jeff, come up here a second. I want you all to meet Jeff Steins. Jeff is the guy who had the dubious distinction of my asking to put together the entire team. <laughs> and uh, Jeff is, uh, he also handled, uh, along with some others, Ebola in our, our last administration. But I just wanted to see Jeff. Jeff's the guy doing a lot of the work. Thank you. And your leadership is an unbelievable team. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I start every day at 4 a.m. Um, so I'll be ready with uh, as many doses as I can by sometimes 6.30 and sometimes 8 a.m. So I practiced a lot. get <laughs> <laughs> up earlier. Time. I mean, you know, 4 a.m., that's kind of late. <laughs> God love you. <laughs> so I take it before I draw and then I have to shake it again. Um, so I have to do one point eight ml of sodium chloride.
we go. <laughs> now you prepare all of these? Uh, I have um, I have another uh, I have other people helping me so depending upon the volume for the day, yeah. uh, we plan and uh, we are sometimes two people, sometimes we went up to five people. Uh, one day we did like 1,200 doses. So um, four That's more, wonderful. four other people helped me uh, do all the drop, drop all the doses. So we have a team of, it's, it's between two and most days it's three to four that are drawing up. For example, today we have uh, 537 vaccines scheduled yes. across the day. Uh, that's a good day's work for three pharmacists. Yes. Yeah. And how did you handle the weekend with 1,000? Uh, when we do 1,000 to 1,200, we have four to five pharmacists that, uh, that are working um, from about 6 in the morning till about 3.30 yeah. in the afternoon drawing the vaccine. The day we did 1,200, we actually had to pull in two extra pharmacists because we had more people vaccinating than we had. We normally have about 25 vaccinators when we're doing a weekend clinic. Uh, the day we had 1,200, we had 38 vaccinators. So we were going through vaccine a lot faster than so we the pharmacists to, were used to. Yeah, and we tried to be ready with 200 doses. So the first few hours will be really quick uh, because uh, there are always so many uh, vaccinators more vaccinators than the people who are growing, so we have to compete with them. <laughs> so, we so far we did. We are, we are doing great. We're doing pretty good across the country. We're yes, yes. We're uh, we're going to reach uh, 100 million doses pretty soon. Yeah. yeah. But we have to focus more on getting to the neighborhoods that are yeah. at risk neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. well, I think that's where Johnson is going to help. Them. Yeah, we, uh, uh, boss can speak more, more to it, but we, uh, when we spoke with Johnson & Johnson, there was a little difficulty of them being able to have the facilities to produce it. So uh, this guy got a hold of Mark and put them together and did something that's unusual these days, put together two competitors to help save lives. And they're kind of doing it. And the same with, uh, with regard to... Uh, a couple of others that needed some help in terms of lacking equipment for their manufacturing. So we were able to get that done. So I, I learned from running the Recovery Act, you got to be hands-on. You got to get down to the detail because it really matters. And we have, to, I think, we just put together a hell of a team. And uh, so, but we still have to, you know, it's one thing to have efficiency. You know, we have to have equity as well, making sure right. neighborhoods. Are, Covered, but you're covering the gambit here. That's impressive. Thank you, sir. Okay. So this is how uh, we draw all the doses. Yeah. And then we label it for six hours of uh, window. And okay. Um, these are the labels. I take my coat off, except I've had my two. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as she finishes drawing them up and labeling them, we'll give them to the vaccinators. Yeah. Um, Denise, do you have a J and J one there for? I do. Sorry, yeah, that's the first J and J dose. Oh wow, the inaugural. Yes. It's the first one here. Yes. First one here. All right, you get one, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sarge, I tell you what. No. I'm an only child, so. <laughs> I'll tell you what. My son was Army when he 
got promoted to major after a year in Iraq. He said, I said, hey, you're a field grade officer now, pal. He said, no, Dad, no, I have no illusion. I don't know who runs the Army. Master Sergeants, they run the Army. <laughs> All you colonels, you, know, you get that straight. I know <laughs> yeah, you know that. Anyway. That's true. Anyway. And it's important she labels them because four of those doses are going to go down to our vaccination clinic and into arms of uh, one of those. I think we had 388 second doses scheduled today with oh, Pfizer vaccines. Good. Um, For that. Now, is this your first or second? Second. Second. And then I logged in in, in this uh, just before we came, I logged in and then we tallied All right. the first dose and second dose and the day. Okay. And so, sir, on your order, they can vaccinate. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. So okay, you know what? I spent about seven months as a patient at Walter Reed, so I'm used to getting shots. <laughs> Go ahead, let me fire away. Uh, so then we verify, we can make sure that every person gets to see what the vaccine, what it's labeled for their yeah. birth. And then we verified all their information. We put the information on their card for them. We circle it here, and then we'll take this back to the computers and put it into the computer electronic yeah. record system. Answer once we enter it into the electronic medical record and Leslie signs the note, it'll, the data automatically gets transferred to the Centers for Disease Control so that they're able to count it. Right away. Yep. Yeah. Good. Remember to take a picture of your card, don't laminate it, put it in a baggie. So, in case we have to give you a booster shot, we can still use the same card. Yes, I'm sure. And I heard that you know, the recycling process for travel. So, the other thing with this shot is you might get a few symptoms. I'm not allowed to do a part of the way. Thank you, sir. Also, uh, 2014, I was your MC at Veterans uh, yes. Day. Oh, is that right? National Cemetery. I thought you'd recognize the ball head. Well, I never recognized the mask, though, man. <laughs> yeah, so I, I had that honor uh, 2013 until 2016. God love you. Thank you, sir. Great to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. Thank you. As soon as I get it. Hey, guys, let's go. Let's go. Thank you, guys. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Let's go. Move out. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. 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 Let's go.